Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how you can easily increase on the resolution of your images or how you can make your images have better quality and if at all you haven't hit the like button make sure that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push it to more people out there who are willing to learn more about Photoshop and this very nice and wonderful technique so let me give you a moment to hit the like button and just hoping you're done hitting the like button you just want to learn about this technique whereby we're going to be increasing the resolution and later on sharpening the image remember even if you're good at photoshop you may not be able to sharpen an image that has a low resolution so you should take or you should have that at the back of your mind before doing any sharpening on all or any of the images in Photoshop so without further ado let's just get started so right now we're in Photoshop and you can see the image looks a little bit pixelated and we just want to get rid of those up exposed pixels and it looks a little bit of a low quality and in order to do that we're just going to come and before we can do any changes to the image you have to do something very simple just come right here to photoshop and come to preferences and come to technology previews click right there and you can see this technology previews make sure that you have enable preserve details 2.0 upscale make sure it is checked and just come and hit ok because that is going to be a determinant in the next step that we are yet to do in this tutorial after that just come to image come to the image size remember just want to increase on the resolution of this very image that we have at our disposal so under resampling just come the first thing you have to do is to resample and come and select preserve details 2.0 right there so as you're doing this in photoshop always make sure to look at the longer side of the image when you're going to increase on the resolution because this is going to be different since some people tend to shoot landscape and others shoot portraits so make sure the longer side of the image has been taken into consideration and in this case my longer side is going to be my height so just come right here and make sure everything is in pixels because you just want to get rid of the pixelated areas in our image so make sure you select pixels so we have the option which says resolution and in resolution we have to be typing in different values but measure the height that we have is between 3000 and 4000 pixel range so it has to be between that kind of range 3000 or 4000 because that is going to be a very high resolution kind of resource for the images that we are just in trying to improve on the quality so we're just going to start with 100 as we are looking right here so 100 gets the height to 1700 so let's just try putting in 150 and it this takes it to 2661 and let's just try 200 and it takes it to 3548 so let's just try maybe 240 and 240 looks good and when I click right here in the image you can see that uh, the before and after are really different you can see right in the eyes the eye is a little bit pixelated in the before and when I release you can see the eye gets a little bit sharper so right here in the reduce noise right option you can see when I take this down it creates a little bit more of the detail within the skin area so you have to just move that up to a point when you feel like is right but don't take it all the way because it's going to smoothen your photo all the way so I'm just going to reduce the noise a little bit I think at around 17 17 is good and just come and hit OK and this is going to make the image larger you can see we have 41 megabytes and 
originally it was 1.8 megabytes so the image is going to be a higher resolution image after we have been able to upscale it or upgrade it you can see right now it can't even fit into our photoshop interface we just have to zoom out remember it is now at a zoom of 400 percent so you have to hit command minus to zoom out so that we can have the image back so you can see right now the image is really of a higher resolution so the next thing is going to be sharpening this image and in order to do the sharpening on this image you're just going to come the background layer or the layer that we have just increased the resolution onto and create a copy from the background layer by hitting ctrl or command j on the keyboard then we're going to come to filter blur and we're going to come to we're not going to come to blur rather we're just going to come all the way down to other and high pass so let me just repeat this because i feel like a little bit some of you maybe were lost along the way filter and come to other and come down to high pass so under high pass you can see that we have this kind of gray kind of layer created for us so just move this radius up to the point when the image starts displaying or showing and every detail that you want in the image really showing so you can see right now i think two is good so don't take it all the way up because it is going to create some kind of hollows and artifacts in the image so just add a little bit of the radius and stop up to that point when the outlines of the image are displaying so i think at round two we are good to go and come and hit ok so right now we are sharpening the image then come and change the blending mode from normal and look for linear light so when you hit linear light you can see the image has really been sharpened so let's see the before and after for a sharpening this is the before and this is the after before after the image has been sharpened but remember as we are sharpening the image there are some areas that we don't want the sharpening to be applied onto and those areas may be the hair and maybe we don't want the sharpening maybe on the lips because it makes them really have those uh, weird cracks so just want to eliminate the sharpening from those areas and in order to do that we're just going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and click on this layer mask to hide the sharpening from the overall image and now we're going to be painting the sharpening on the areas that we want the sharpening to be applied to so come under the brushes and simply right click and get a soft round brush opacity and hardness opacity and flow at 100 percent and the hardness is going to be at zero percent so remember everything has been hidden behind this negative mask which is black in color and in photoshop black hides and white reviews so just want to use a white brush to paint or review the sharpening on the areas that we want to be sharp in this photo so come and choose white and you know to reset to have black and red just click on these two tiny boxes and to toggle between black and white you can use x on the keyboard or you can use these arrows to get white on top so just want to use that white brush to sharpen the areas that we want to sharpen in this photo so i could sharpen right there and just come and sharpen part of the skin remember i don't want to apply the sharpening maybe in the hair area i just want to sharpen specific areas in the image so i just don't want to sharpen the lips so i'm just going to sharpen the eyes right there and i think this looks good and you have to take your time and you can see right now we have sharpened those specific areas and this is the before after before after I hope you can see the image looks good and if at all you want to delete or erase sharpening from those areas get it into black and now you can eliminate the sharpening from specific areas so basically this is how to increase the resolution of your images and also how to sharpen them in photoshop and when you're done doing everything sharpening remember just want to export a very sharp image that is really detailed so just come and simply click 
file export and come to export as and come and change the sampling to by cubic sharper right there and it's going to add a little bit of sharpening to the image but remember you also want a very or an image that is not going to be having those color change issues after you have been able to save it in photoshop so just come and also embed color profile and also check convert srgb and simply hit export and your image is going to be saved as a very nice and crisp sharp image in photoshop so basically that is all for today's story and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not yet subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating